So now I'm going to make a quick release for something that has a handle. Now what if you wanted to be like an arborist and use a sling? Let's imagine it didn't have a handle and I wanted to make a four-sided harness. You'll start at the end of your rope and you're basically going to make a letter N. Now I'm going to pinch this together at the top so that I have a small loop up here and a longer loop down below. And then I'll take my free end and I'm going to wrap it all the way around and I'm going to take this loop here and thread it through the upper small loop. And now after we tighten it all together we've made an angler's loop or a perfection loop. And this is the base of our rigger's knot. So now I'm going to make a quick release for something that has a handle. I'm going to take my angler's loop and I'm going to pull a bite into it. I'm going to feed this bite through the handle. And now I have my long bite and my loop. I'm just going to place one over the other. And that creates a little window right here. I'm going to take my standing end and thread it through. And now in this end here that I'm going to heave, my heaving line, I'm going to tie a overhand knot or an executioner's knot. Now it's important that when you tie this knot, you do so so that the bite of the knot is pointing towards the heaving line. And here's the reason why. When I pull tension on this knot, you see on the right hand side I have an acute angle. On the left hand side I have an obtuse angle. And I want to use the acute angle so that I can hook the rope into there. So let's get back to where we were. I pull in a bite. I thread it under my handle, I take my long bite here and my loop here and I overlap them creating a window and then I'm going to pass my working end through that window. Okay, And now I've tied an overhand knot or executioner knot in my heaving end. Now all I have to do is take this bite in my left hand and hook it over the top of this knot. Now check this out. So imagine I just lowered this toolbox down. I'm going to drop everything so that the knot slips out of the bite. And when I lift it up, everything slips through. Here it is again. I have my angler loop at the end of my line. I pull in a bite and I thread that through my handle. Then I take my loop and my bite and I overlap them creating a window. With that window, I thread my standing end. And then I take this bite here and I hook it on top of an overhand knot or executioner's knot that I put on my heaving side. Just hook it on top. Now if everything goes according to plan, I'll drop this whole assembly and this knot will slip out from this bite and it'll allow me to pull everything free, causing you to subscribe. So here's my tackle box. Let's imagine it didn't have a handle and I wanted to make a four-sided harness. This is what I would do. You take your angler's loop and you pull in a long bite, a bite that is long enough to go around the entire tackle box. There we go. Okay. Now this is where I would overlap my loop and my bite and I would thread my standing end through and then tie it off on that overhand knot. But I still want to create another bite, so I'm just going to take it from the back, go underneath, hook on, and come back. And now I have a bite up front. I'm just going to overlap all these bites and I'm going to pass my working end here all the way through everything. There we go. Now I'm just going to tie a overhand knot in my right hand line. So again, ideally you'd have the bite pointing towards the line that you're going to heave, but if you want it to slip a little easier, you may want to point at the other end. Okay, so here's my line, or my bite in my left hand. I'm just gonna put it over the top. Now I have my four-sided harness. All right, so now when I drop this down, I let go of the entire assembly, and I should be able to pull this knot out of this bite. Now, if it's giving you a hard time, then you're gonna need to increase the length of your last bite so that you have more room to drop it. So now when I bring down the taco box, I can drop the line, it comes free from the bite, and I can pull everything free. Now what if you wanted to be like an arborist and use a sling? All I'm going to do is tie my sling to a piece of paracord and the other end of that paracord is going to be tied on to my angler's loop. Now here's how we set it up. I'm going to lay my sling down and place all my items within the sling. 
Now I'm going to pass this free end, this end that doesn't have the paracord tied to it, and I'm going to pass it underneath and through the end that does have the paracord tied into it. Okay, now this is essentially my handle. Now I'm just going to take a bite off my angler's loop and I'm going to pass it through the sling. I'm going to overlap it like you saw earlier and pass my standing end through. And then I just need to tie a knot off in here. There we go. And I'll hook it on. So here's how this one works. When I drop everything down, the same thing happens. This bite comes free from the knot and everything unravels. Okay. And now I'm just left with my sling on a piece of paracord. I pull up on the paracord and that unravels too.